Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Double Trouble. Uh, last episode, we lost two battles in a row, and unfortunately, our electric team sort of went down, and uh, that ended that reign of terror. And I think it's funny how well we did with the mono electric gimmick team. I think it's hysterical. I love it. It's a great team. Um, and I'm certain to bring it back at some point, maybe even better than ever. Um, although I, I am thinking about turning it into a non-mono team, but a team that likes soak. I don't know, we'll see. But, uh, for the time being, I brought back an old team. This one is the team made by Square 2, aka Bridger Snow. Uh, it was featured on Nugget Bridge quite a while ago. And, um, I used it at the very tail end of, um, VGC prep. Uh, I used this against Aaron Zhang. Uh, I didn't win, but it was a good battle nonetheless, and I gotta say, this is one of the best teams I've ever used. So I'm excited to bring it back. Uh, it will be here until we, um, until I finish that team, which I, I just have to EV train one thing, and I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, think, that's all I need to do. Um, it's a good team, too. And then I've got another team that I'm really excited for. Uh, I want to test it out a little bit more, but I, I think it's pretty much ready. There's not much else I can do to it, I don't think. I'll give you a hint. It makes use of Camerupt. That's right, Camerupt. Uh, I think it has a killer typing. It hits really hard, and it's so cool. It's so cool. Who, who uses Camerupt? I love it. And, it. and it's not like, it's not even gimmicky, you know? It actually does good damage. I think it was a, um... Garchomp, non-boosting, modest, 252, life orbs, so nothing, you know, unusual, nothing you wouldn't run on a, on a camera up. 60% do a Garchomp with Earth Power. I thought that was really cool. I thought that was really cool. A neutral move, you know, stab. I, th I think it's neutral, right? Ground does not resist ground, so, I don't know, that's pretty cool. My opponent will be bringing Garchomp, you know, of course. Uh, Gudra? Meowstick. I almost said Klefki. That was weird. Gorbis, Greninja, and Scizor. Or, pfft, Sicer. Sicer. Slicer. I'll take a slice of cheese. Um, Scyther. That was hard to say. Um, the water type. Oh. Did you guys see that? <laughs> I just chucked my stylus. The water pipes that are prevalent. Yeah, I'm, you know what? Screw it. I'm going for Mr. Mime Charizard. I like that lead. That lead has always done me well. And I don't know what to do. So, Charizard, Mr. Mime. Um, blah, 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 blah. Rhydon could be pretty cool here. Rhydon could be very cool here. And then. Do I want Scrafty or do I want Trevenant? I don't know, guys. I only have 20 seconds left, so. Um, I'm gonna go for Scrafty. Scrafty's gonna do a little bit better than Trevenant. There is more water types, but water types do, of course, come with the territory of having Ice Beam. So, Trevenant isn't the most useful against those Pokemon, but he's good against, like, you know, Rotom Wash. Rotom Wash mainly. Rotom Wash, yeah, definitely ma mainly mo ro mo <sighs> You know what I'm trying to say. So, me ask Gorbis, um,. Assuming you're gonna be like helping hand crazy stuff, so I just want to just destroy you right now. Um, and I'm gonna go for Trick Room because I think Gorbis are pretty fast, so I'm gonna go for that Trick Room. <sighs> I haven't used this team in a while, I'll be quite honest with you guys, so I don't remember exactly how it works. But the good news is, is it's pretty good, and uh, we should do some damage with it. If we survive this hydro pump that's coming. So we can go for quick guard. Interesting. Fake out. Uh, I guess I could fake out. I guess I could fake out. We're faster than the Gorbis. Damn it. Really hoping we wouldn't be faster than I thought Gorbis were fast. I mean, you gotta you gotta give it to me. Focus up. You gotta give it to me. You know, I never play Gorbis. Now it's gonna be fast. There we go. Trick Room was right. Hallelujah. Now we can go for Heat Wave because he's got 1 HP. I'm gonna go for Dazzling Gleam just in case that Gorbis does not go down. I should be slower now. I should be. If anything, my Mr. Mime will be slower, so if I miss 
Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. There's no heat wave on this thing. Oh, well. I'll just flamethrower the meow stick and go for Dazzling Gleam. Um, yeah, that's what I needed to do. I need to change this thing to have heat wave. And I learned that from the, uh, the battle I had with Aaron Zhang. He was just like, you know, I don't know why he's not running heat wave. And, you know, I looked into it and it really would be pretty beneficial. Um, so red card, interesting. That's a move, that's an item I've been seeing a lot more often. Uh, and in comes Garchomp, which can take this flamethrower pretty well, I think. Yeah, it, it's resisted one time, so it's not, you know, like the craziest thing in the world. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but, 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 but. Meowstic's still in. So I'm gonna go for flamethrower against the Meowstic. Of course. And, um, you know what? I'm predicting a rock slide. I'm predicting a rock slide. So I'm gonna go for w wide guard. Um, I'm hoping my gut is right here. I wanted to, I really, really wanted to go for, um, Dazzling Gleam. You know, I'm really feeling a rock slide coming. I'm really feeling it. Um, and this Garchomp is Mega. It's, it's Come here. It's new. You don't see Mega Garchomp. I feel like I'm the only one who ever runs Mega Garchomp. Um, so we fix up the Mr. Mime. Interesting. Yes! I was right. I called it. I am smart. I am powerful. I, I'm i just not telling the truth. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, guys. I really don't. Um, I think a cool thing I can do here is I can keep my Charizard alive. Well, it depends on what he brings in. He brings in Scyther. Ooh. Yeah, I want to keep my Charizard alive, so, um... I'm gonna bring in my Rhydon here, who I actually brought with the specific intention of countering Scyther. Um, I'm gonna go for Dazzling Gleam here. Um, uh, Mr. Mime doesn't worry too much about the beauteous, um, Rock Slide. Rhydon doesn't ma doesn't hit, doesn't dislike it at all. He loves it. He loves it. Um, Garchomp's gonna go for protect. Not the greatest thing. Um, Dazzling Gleam's gonna go off. It won't do too much to the Scyther. It's probably Evil Light. Yeah, that does nothing. Um, we avoid the attack. Cool. We're still in um, Trick Room, as I saw. So double attack. <laughs> Should be dead. Scyther. Without a doubt in my mind, is going to go down to Rock Slide. If we hit, of course. And I just had to say that, didn't I? I'm actually more concerned about getting rid of this Garchomp than anything else, really. Um, wow! Wow, it's slower than my Mr. Mime! That is something I would never have thought! This better kill it. Oh my god! What the heck? Okay, but at least he's like, you know, Fury attacking my Mr. Mime. I don't know what Fury Cutter does, but apparently it's good. Who the heck knows? Um, how is that thing faster? Holy hell. Um, nah, I'm bringing Charizard. If he was faster, if he was slower than my Mr. Mime, he's going to be slower than my Charizard, so I'm going to go for Flamethrower, and I'm going for Rock's Lad. Wow, this thing is power. This thing is so power. Alright, flamethrower, that stupid Garchomp. Brick Break, oh my god. Eh, I'm gonna survive that. Of course I'm gonna survive that. I am gonna be faster than the Garchomp. I've never, I know they're slow, but I didn't know they were that slow. Holy crud. Oh well, if this Rock Slide hits, which it will, it will, thank you. It doesn't matter because I'm faster, well, I'm actually not faster than it with my Charizard, but it doesn't matter because it does anyway. Alrighty, I like it. I like it a lot. That was, what, a 3-0? I dig. I dig. I dig. I love it. Alright, so that was... That was that. Now we need to get one more battle done. I love this team so much. It's such a cool team. The next team I want to make... I've got so many teams. I want to make a round team. I want to remake the team I brought to national uh, regionals because I think it was it had good potential, but I didn't, it was things that I didn't do very well with it because it was my first you know real team. Um, I'm making a rain team as we talk, which is pretty good. Wow, this team is a mono water team. Props, props, props. Um, however, the cool thing about that is I can bring Charizard and do that. 
Um, I'm gonna start off with Mr. Mr. Trevenant. I was gonna say Mr. Mine, but I meant Mr. Trevenant because Trevenant hits one, two, three, four things super effectively. Um, I don't have anything for that Kingdra. I do have Mr. Mine for that Kingdra. Oh, good point. I'm gonna bring Mr. Mine actually. Mr. Mime, um, I'm gonna bring Charizard because that Solar Beam's gonna be pretty cool. Although, eh, yeah, I'm gonna bring it anyway. Um, and then Scrafty. Do I want Kecleon? No, I don't want Kecleon. Yeah, that should work. <sighs> he didn't have that much of thought process, you know, I run a Sun Team. Well, eh, sort of a Sun Team. Yeah. <sighs> I, I feel like if you're gonna run Trick Room Team with Sun, you need to have Trevenant because Trevenant likes the Sun. Trevenant loves the Sun. It may increase his weakness, and it's not like he's going to survive it anyway, you know what I'm saying? But, I'm really hoping this was a good... Oh, this was a good lead. This was a fantastic lead for me. So, judging by that... Judging by the fact that he really doesn't have anything for my Mr. Mime, I'm going to protect with my Trevenant. I do have Trevenant. And I'm going to Trick Room with my Mr. Mime. Um... This way I put myself in a really solid position to just basically take these Pokemon out. And plus, I really did expect that Ice Beam to come my way. Um, the miss was unfortunate. I would have survived anyway. Unless it was a crit. It's true, but you, you can't really count on crits, to be quite honest with you. Um, I'm going to ignore the Politoed. I want to kill the Kingdra because that thing actually does scare me the most. Um, with its power, with its such. Um... And that should put it in range where the... Wow, that Politoed is slow. That Politoed is slow. But as you can see, even if it did hit us, we still would have survived. Um, we would have survived... Wow, come on, really? Thanks, bro. Thank you so much for not having attacking power whatsoever. Did I really survive that? Did I... I did not expect that. I survived that enough to take another one. And I get another Citrus Berry. Fan frickin' tastic! Alright, well, I'm gonna horn leech this Politoed and I'm gonna go for yet another. Oh, this is a great. Huzzah. Wow, I can't believe I can survive yet another one! Nice! I could probably survive another another two unless he crits. That does nothing! That does nothing! Why does that do nothing? He's gonna ice beam my Trevenant. No, he's gonna hypnosis! Oh! What a jerk! That thing has, like, no accuracy. Oh, I have Lumberry! Oh my god, I'm so glad I made that change. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm surprising myself at every corner. I forgot I changed that Mr. Mime back to a Lumberry. I had Citrus Berry on it, but then... No, I had Leftovers on it. But then I was like, uh, you know what? I don't really like Citrus Berry on... on uh, or Leftovers on this. I kind of want Lumberry, so I went for Lumberry. That is amazing. Um... I'm gonna burn the Ludicolo so I can do some damage to it, and uh, I'm gonna go for Dazzling Gleam. Because my Horn Leech isn't gonna do anything to it, and Dazzling Gleam will kill the Politoed, so I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. And this will, you know, give some time, ba uh, damage over time. He's gonna Ice Beam the Trevenant. I'm gonna take that like a champ! Holy hell! This Hydro Pump's probably gonna kill me, though. It's gonna be a little bit stronger. I should have seen that coming, but I do have my Scrafty. I do have my Scrafty. Actually, no. I have my Charizard. What am I doing? I have my Charizard. That would be silly of me not to use my Charizard. It's Charizard. Can't kill. So I'm going to go for Horn Leech on the Politoed. I'm going to Mega Evolve, and I'm going to Flamethrower the Ludicolo. I don't think it can kill, actually. But with the Sun, I'm not really too worried. You know, I'm, I'm really not. I'm really not too worried. Um, this is how you counter a uh, rain team. You just bring in heavy fire. <laughs> Literally fire. <laughs> I'm in a weird mood. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Uh, so Horn Leech goes off. It kills the Politoed. Um, judging by speed tiers and trick room and stuff like that, I should still outspeed this Ludicolo do some good damage to it. Um, I think... I'm hoping I can survive... Wow! That... Oh, trick room must have gone out, right? Tricker must have gone out. But we got rid of his his rain setter, so I'm really I'm very glad about that. Um he's not gonna exactly No, wait, because Trevenant went first. Oh, burn kills it. Nice. 
Um, wait, Trevenant did go first. Now I'm really confused. Oh, and he DCs because he does not like losing. And then, oh yeah, I was, that's weird. That, but it had rain. No, yeah, it had rain. Speed is... That makes no sense to me. Speed is calculated before the turn starts. So even though I got rid of the... He might have had rain dish. Did he have rain dish? I didn't damage him. Well, I did with the... No, because he... Mm. I'm really confused. Was that two battles? I think that was two battles. Um, tell me down in the comments below, because... That actually does confuse me a little bit. Maybe I just missed something? Because Charizard has like 36 speed IVs. Uh, EVs. Um, if he had Rain Dish, he wouldn't have had that preemptive burn damage. Because Rain Damage... Rain Dish heals more than burn, I think. Or at least the same amount of damage. Um, and... With the sun... I mean, with the rain up, before I put out the sun, he should have had that speed boost. Maybe he had, like, own temple. Does he have own temple? I don't know. Whatever, guys, I won. What am I What am I caring about? I was just really surprised that it outsped me in Trick Room. So, that's the story, guys. That's double trouble. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. And uh, I hope to see you guys at the next video. Peace.